Okay, now let's try our hand at our first problem. Okay, so I'm gonna give you your very first problem this time, okay? So let's go ahead into our course. Uh, this is on the main website, okay? Let's go to, or cleverprogrammer.com that is. Let's go to the problem called square a number and let's click on it. And don't worry, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll provide the notes below. So I'll give you the link to the problem and I'll give you a link to the solution as well, okay? On the website, it's just all more integrated. So at the top, before you get to, before you actually have to write your function, I have some notes here to help you out. So like for example, I say something like, remember functions always start off with the word DEF, which means define. So if you're ever writing a function, always start off with DEF. Note two says, don't forget your colons, okay? Note three says, always do return rather than print in your functions. Usually you do print to check if it's working correctly. Other than that, you wanna do return. I'll make a video on return versus print so you guys know more in depth what's going on. So here is an example uh, for you guys that we just did in our previous video, but I'll leave this here for every problem just so you guys can remember how it works. So if you, so remember the add to function that we wrote or sum to function, it takes in two numbers and input as inputs and returns their sum. Well, this is how you write it. Define add to takes in two inputs. We just call them A and B and we return the sum of both of them. So if you look at line four, it says it's now using the function. So that's an example of how to use your function. So print add two, one and two. All right, so one and two should give you back three, then it prints three and you get that result that you see uh, right there um, where the arrows are pointing. Okay, now let's get to our actual problem. The problem is called squaring a number. Okay, you can read this on your own too, so I'm gonna go through this a little bit fast. I want you to try this on your own. Hopefully you have taken a stab at this problem. After you have done so, this part is gonna be the solution, okay? So I'm gonna go through the solution of this now. All right, write a function that squares a number, uh, that write a function square number that takes in a number and squares it. So right away, I know it's something like this, okay? First part is done. The function is called square number and I have to put a DEF before it. I also have to put open close parentheses because it's a function. Even if it takes no arguments, you have to put a parentheses, open close parentheses like that. All right, what else does it say? It tells me to take a number and square it, which means that I have only one input, right? So I know that I have one input and I have some integer or I have some output, okay? Some number based output. So I know my return statement, whatever is gonna return should be something that probably returns a number, okay? In this case, right, my output is going to be something like uh, number squared, okay? So we are taking in one input, let's call the input number, and let's just do return that number squared, okay? At the bottom, I have a bunch of uh, testing things for you. So this part of the code actually tests your function. So it's a function called test square number that tests your function, okay? So just to make sure you got everything right, you should have a line printed out. If you've done, done wrote this correctly, you should have a line saying your code is correct, okay? So to do that, you have to always uncomment the bottom line that I have here for you, which is the call to this function here, test square number, okay? So you wanna uncomment that line below, and now let's run it and see if our code is correct. Okay, and you can see right here that it says your code is correct, all right? Just to break it down, this two asterisks mean expon exponentiation. So I'm saying number squared, okay? How you would write it in math would be something like this. And then let's see what hap what's happening, right? If you give me two, you should get back four. If you give me eight, you should get back 64. If you give me 10, you should get back 100. And now let's see how it works. 
So if I give you two, right, this function call over here, square number two, what happens? Let's write it down right here, square number and give it two. Okay, two gets passed in as the number. You have two over here, everywhere there's number, the variable number it gets replaced by two. Two to the power of two or two squared just gives you four. And so it asserts um, four equal equal four, right? And then it gives you, and then it's it says it's good. How assertions work, this thing that I have that tests your code is that if it evaluates to, like it takes in some condition, if that condition evaluates to false, it throws a big error, right? If I said assert five equal equal four and I ran this, it's gonna give me a big error at the bottom here, right? Parse error, but bad input on line 11. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's giving me an error here, but let's fix this guy. Now it gives me an error on where I expected to give me an error on line 14, which says assert five is equal to four. And it says, no, that's not true. But if I had four equal equal four, it would just pass it quietly, meaning like it won't do anything. So if it doesn't give you an error, it means that thing is correct, okay? And that's it, that's our solution for this uh, problem, square a number. In the next video, we're gonna solve the problem of checking if a number is even, all right? So try it on your own, and in the next video, I'll have the actual problem for you guys, and I'll have the notes below, and I'll have the uh, link to solution below as well if you're watching it on my YouTube channel. If you're watching it on my website, then there won't be anything below because everything is actually part of the cleverprogrammer.com website. All right, I'll see you in the next video.